Hello, globalwriter.com. And today we welcome Ekaterina Glevinska. She used to live in Russia, but now, during more than one year, she inhabits Barcelona. So, Katarina, tell me, what do you like most of Barcelona? Well, actually I came to Barcelona for studying to get my master's degree. But when I came there, I recognized that Barcelona has everything which we need for living. It has a perfectly weather, it has a nice, um, very friendly people. And for sure, which is very important for young people, it's a party city. And I think probably it's the most party place in Europe. So, apart from my studying, I think for me, Barcelona is the best city ever. Yeah, but but uh, next question, where did you take the money to spend, you know, one year uh, lifetime experience uh, there and how much do you need to spend uh, in Barcelona to have a student lifestyle? Well, before my uh, coming to Barcelona, I used to work here in Russia almost five years, so I had some, some uh, savings and, well, my parents, for sure, <laughs> helped me a lot. Uh, but now, uh, after graduation, I'm looking for a job position, so uh, hopefully after my vacation here, when I'm back in Barcelona, I get uh, probably a good work, so uh, I, will, uh, I will make some money, it's going to be, I, I think it's going to be pretty good for my living there. Okay. To, to cover all my expenses. Okay, uh, so uh, in two words, describe this. What is the most impressive things to see in Barcelona? What is the Barcelona proud of? You know, the places, maybe city, maybe people, maybe sport clubs. What Barcelona, like, most thing that excites you uh, here? You know, actually, I can't say there's only two things three things or something because there is a lot of great things in Barcelona. It's great people, it's a great place to go, and for sure if we are talking about sports, the Barca team is like a religion there, and Messi is a god, so, yeah, there is a lot. Yeah, as for me, I just can't, I just can't tell about something, about just one thing, for example, I don't know, it's a historical place, or just a cuisine, or football team everything, you know, it's a perfect combination of everything. Okay, and uh, next question, you know, when I've been uh, with you, uh, like last summer, uh, I mentioned that Spain, is, Spain never sleeps, you know, all the streets covered by people, they all drink beers, uh, they drink it together. Uh, how, you know, I was really impressed how people maintain their life there. It's very different when uh, compared to Russia or every other country. So, how do you think, how they do this? Maybe they born with it or they some special atmosphere? Because even tourists, when they came to this atmosphere, they became different. Yes, for sure. Most people in the street, especially in the summer season, is a tourist. But if we're talking about native people, Catalan, yes, it's just a different way to live. For them, uh, life is uh, not like you, you live for working and making money. They are living for having fun. So for them, it's like, like it is. They enjoy it every single day. So they, they haven't like a uh, holiday only today and only tomorrow. They have a holiday for all their life. Okay, uh, what about the economical crisis? They said they don't have a jobs to... What, what, what is... They, they, they crying or what are they doing now? Well, yeah, economically speaking, now the situation in Spain is not so good and the uh, situation in the labor market is pretty, pretty difficult. Even uh, local people can find a job. When you when you get known, a lot of local people more close than not just uh, hey how are you, they start to talk with you about that. For me, I think it's really pity in such kind of great country now in a, such kind of bad situation. Okay, Katarina, thank you very much for your visiting us and uh, it was a good experience. It was a globalwriter.com. Enjoy. From the globalwriter.com, we wish you a happy new year. Feliz Año Nuevo and Feliz Navidad. Hasta luego.